holiday, uh, the short story is called Mary, Mary, uh, You're Not Contrary. When, when, I was a, when I was a young man going to college, I had a difficult time studying, especially when the swishing sound of a young lady's skirt was, in, was within range uh, of my hearing. The lessons of the day became obscure. If it wasn't the sound that distracted me, it was when the swaying motion of her hips, which were covered by a tight-fitting skirt, came within view of my dark and roving eyes. Study became secondary. Thoughts of schoolwork became unobtainable. If a woman walked by wearing a fragrant perfume, my mind became mixed up and idiotic. The scent traveled to the cortex of my arousal system and cut off all thoughts of study. The essence of the aroma transferred my mind into a, a frightful, distorted intellect. I was mush. If it wasn't the sight, sound, or smell that caused the distraction, women had other weapons in their disposal. There was an is touch and taste. If I was brushed against by a good-looking woman, it made my mind go tilt. The stimulation reached, reached the highest level of confusion. Who needed school work? Not me, no way. Whatever I was doing could wait. Thoughts of sugar plums danced in my head. Chills ran up and down my spine. Help, touch was more than enough to bring a feeling of insanity. Ah, uh, then there was taste that women held in reserve. For me, a kiss tasted like sweet wine and was twice as intoxicating. A kiss was more powerful than a strong drug. Coherent thoughts became non-existent. Good sense departed. I surrendered, dear. I've been, I've been used and mistreated by the fairer sex. The swearing, the swaying motion is now made by a woman who's too big for her britches. The sight is outlandish. The magic numbers I worshipped in my youth, 36, 26, 36, have become 50, 60, 70. There was more bounce to the ounce. The sound that emanated from a woman now is the sound of the pills bouncing off the side of her pillbox. The taste of a kiss is now the taste of wine vinegar. The taste of wine has soured with time. Touch has become the touch for a financial assistant or whatever is her present want. I have become unaffected by the scent of perfume. No longer can perfume drive this crazy man crazier. I no longer have space for foolishness. I'm free, free at last, liberated to do what I want. Now that I've reached my senior, senior years, I no longer find concentration difficult. Who's that swain in the cafe? It's Mary. She's hot. I'll finish this account later. <laughs>